Hey, my name is Cecil Willie, and I've got a story to tell you about um, me dying and going to heaven and seeing Jesus and um, lots of other people as well. Uh, my name is Cecil Willie. Today is June 28, 2015. It's my daughter Dawn's birthday today. Happy birthday, baby. I want to tell you about it, uh, about a day, uh, May 21st, 2012. I, uh, went for a routine checkup for my heart and discovered, the doctors discovered that, um, I was about to have a heart attack, so they decided to install a defibrillator in my chest to, um, get my heart kicking whenever it stops. Well, that was all fine and good because, you know, I needed it at the time. Thought it did. But, um, anyway, uh, they installed a defibrillator and they sent me home the following day because of the risk of infection. And I got home and the following day, actually two days after the surgery, um, my son found me in my recliner in my living room uh, almost dead and he called the ambulance and um, they took me to the hospital in Baton Rouge and um, I died on the way to the hospital but after I got to the hospital they was doing everything they got me back alive and they was doing everything that they could do to save me but um, I was bleeding from um, from my main artery in my heart. Whenever they installed the defibrillator, the doctor cut the main artery where the lead is supposed to attach and didn't realize that she cut the main artery and I was bleeding internally. Well, two days later, I finally bled to death. I said death, but I died. Died three times and the third time, it was a uh, pretty, pretty life changing because um, I went to heaven and I seen Jesus Christ. But before that happened, I want to tell you when I was laying in the hospital and on the hospital bed, they was doing everything they could do to save my life. So they, and they, eventually the hospital ran out of blood. So they didn't have any more blood to give me. I was bleeding profusely because I was taking a blood thinner so my blood wouldn't clot. Anyway, I bled to death. While I was laying on the hospital bed in the emergency room or operating room, wherever in the hell I was at, I could hear the doctors talking. I, I could hear, I could hear them. They were, they were frantic. You know, they were, they were really trying, trying really hard to, to help save me. But um, all of a sudden, I heard myself flatline. That was the strangest sound I have ever encountered in my life. And the last thought, it had to have been a thought because I knew I couldn't talk. The last thought out of my mind was, oh shit, here we go. And away we went. I went. I went to heaven. Next thing I know, I was staring at my grandmother, my mother's mother. Behind her was her mother, my great-grandmother. On the right-hand side of me was my Uncle Stanley. On the left-hand side of me was three of my great-aunts and my cousin Will, who got killed in a car wreck when he was 17. Will was all, all the way down on my far left and he leaned out kind of like hey and, and you know and waved at me and he said hey man and I, I leaned over and I just smiled the biggest grin because I haven't seen him since he was 17 since he died in 1985 or 86, 86 I think he died but he was still 17 years old. He has not aged one bit. He looked identical to the way he did when he died. But my grandmother and my aunts and uncles, they were all in their 80s when they died. 
But when I got to heaven, they were all in their 30s, in their mid-30s. They were so young and beautiful. I couldn't really recognize them because I only knew them as old people. But when they spoke, I knew exactly who they were. You never forget a voice. And my Uncle Stanley standing on the right-hand side of me. And I can remember when I was a kid, he had gold teeth in his mouth. And he smiled at me. And he still had his gold teeth in his mouth. That's how I know for a fact that he was in his 30s. Because when I was a kid, he was in his 30s. He had gold teeth in his mouth. But beyond my grandmother, her mother, behind them too, was standing Jesus. Just as pretty as you please, Jesus Christ himself. He held his hands out. He showed me the holes in his hands. I seen daylight go all the way through that man's hands. I kid you not. And he said, I am your Christ. I didn't know what to do. I was just in, in complete awe. I didn't know what to do. But that was the only thing that he said to me. And um, I wanted to stay. But my grandma said, baby, you got to go. And I said, well, granny, I, I don't, why, what are you talking about, go? I'm here. I don't want to go back. I said, I'm home. She said, I know, baby, I know, but you can't stay. I said, why? Why, Granny? I'm here. I'm already here. I'm home. Why can't I stay? And my Uncle Stanley, standing on the right-hand side of me, he just kind of grinned and kind of chuckled. And he says, yeah, it's nice up here, ain't it, son? I said, yes, sir, it sure is. And my grandma said, baby, you can't stay. You got to go back. And I said, okay, Granny, I'm going to go. And she said, tell your mama and Richard I love them. And all my life, when my grandma told me bye, she did this. Bye-bye, baby. And that is exactly what she did in heaven. And that's the last thing I seen in heaven was my grandmother waving goodbye to me and told me to tell my mama and Richard, my uncle, that she loved me. The next thing you know, I was, uh... I was flying around the earth. I flew across Africa, Asia, Japan, came back across Hawaii, flew up around Alaska, and came back down from Alaska, went across the Grand Canyon, and um, after that, um, I kind of blacked out, and it felt like somebody had me lifted out of the bed about two feet and just dropped me. And I just suddenly just bam, you know, and I woke up and uh, someone said, damn, he's alive. And I said, yes, and I seen Jesus. And you could have heard a pin drop in that place. But he's real. I've seen him and I've been to heaven. It is real, believe me. And the colors in heaven, let me tell you something, people. I've never in my life seen colors like this. Go to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you want to go. Look in the paint section, all those different colors. That ain't nothing compared to what heaven's got. I don't even, there's no words for the colors that's up there. I've never seen it before. Just beautiful. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And my guardian angel, she was holding my hand, rubbing my arm while I was dying. Telling me it's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. That was the most beautiful human being or entity I have ever seen or witnessed in my entire life. That woman was absolutely flawless, gorgeous, 
the most beautiful colored skin and hair and eyes and her touch was so soft and gentle and just soothing and you just knew who she was because she's always been there she's still here and you got one too she's standing right beside you holding your hand and it's going to be okay you just believe in Jesus have a good true honest heart love your neighbor Honor thy father and thy mother and thy brother and thy children. Love one another and you'll go to heaven. I promise you. My name is Cecil Willie. I'm from Walker, Louisiana. It's June 28th, 2015. And I'm here to tell you people that heaven is real.